What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from GeeksterLabs.com and today's video is brought to you by Cell Cashier and they compare iPhone prices to get you top dollar for your used iPhone. So if you'd like to sell your iPhone, check out the link in the description below. So guys, I'm gonna be giving you a, an unboxing and first impression video of something brand new that just came out from Monster. So this is something different. Most of you guys are probably aware that Monster is a company that makes headphones and other audio products, but this is something, a new line that they've been, they've been working on, they just released, it's called Monster Vision. And so this is a VR360 action camera. And so basically you can see there's one lens on the front there and there's also a lens on the back. So this will allow you to film those 360 uh, videos that you probably have seen maybe on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, this also offers software so it can stitch all the footage together and allow you to, to display that and be able to view that as a 360 video. This also works in tandem with uh, VR goggles that they have also released as well. So I'm gonna be reviewing that. They sent me their pair that actually, the goggles actually have uh, headphones that are built into them as well. So I'm really looking forward to checking it out. I'm really looking forward to filming my very first 360 videos. This is my first 360 camera, so I'm really pumped to check it out. And I just want to thank them for sending this to me to play with and review for you guys. This also does work with your smartphone device, your iPhone, or your Android device, and in many ways as well. So let's go ahead and bust into this sucker and let's see what's actually included inside the uh, 360 VR camera. And so this one retails for $380. So pretty comparable to some of the other um, the action cameras that are available out there for, for uh, 360 types of videos. So I guess I can check out some of the things it says here on the front, on the front of the box. Don't want to forget any of these things. So it says a dual lens, obviously front and back lens, spherical recording, VR goggle compatible, automatic stitching, Wi-Fi control, and a micro, U, uh, micro SD card is included. So I guess we'll check it out. Those are all the different things that come in the box, but let's go ahead and open this up and let's see them for ourselves. So, all right, so we got the top taken off there. Let's see. Yeah, this is very similar to the uh, GoPro box. I don't want to break anything. Wow, so there are lots of goodies included. So let's take all these out. Let me show you two. One, let me show you two guys uh, one by one. All right, so let's get rid of all the boring stuff that's in here. So first off, we got the quick start guide manual right here. Get you going on using this camera. So some paperwork right there. Also included is a safety precaution guide. So next after that, we have a microfiber cleaning cloth right here. So in case you want to wipe down the lens, that is included in there. Also included is a USB, so this is a micro USB uh, cable. So this is what you use to charge up the camera. Pretty similar to other devices. Here is the uh, micro SD card. So this is a 16 gigabyte SD card. I did notice online, I think they may have bumped this up to 32 gigs. I, don't quote me on that, but this one, one included with this, with this one here is a 16 gig. And it does include the SD card adapter for you know sticking into like a, a laptop with an SD card slot. Next included is a micro SD adapter. So it has a USB on one end and the back has a slot for the micro SD card. So if you don't have an SD slot or uh, like a larger SD card slot that will work with the, the card right here, you can always use the USB port and do it that way. First off, we have one of the mounts and this looks very similar to a, a GoPro mount. So I'm assuming that this might work if you already have a GoPro camera or mounts that work with a GoPro camera. I'm assuming that this will work with that as well. So we've got a couple different angles. So this is the, what is this one here? So maybe this is a piece that it, it sticks to or it adheres to something else because you can remove this. Let me see if I can get it off. This little piece right here. So I think there's some, actually, yes. There's some 3M tape right here. So if you want to put this on your dash or any flat surface, you can do that. And that's what slides into place for this right here. And so it does include that. It also has two other pieces. So there's another piece right here and there's another uh, vertical piece right extension right here. So. That one right there and that one right there. So three different pieces attached to one little bracket. Also included is nice handlebar mount and I will be using this bad boy because one of the first things we're gonna do with this camera is take it out uh, mountain biking so you guys can experience that. Check out that three uh, that 360 footage. So this is what you would use to mount this to a uh, to a, the handlebars of either you know a bicycle or a motorcycle or maybe anything that has a bar uh, attachment right there so you can use that for that as well. Here's another mount we have. So this is a suction cup mount. It'll come in handy if you want to stick it to the front of the car or any other flat surfaces. Uh, I may try to do some stuff on my vehicle. Hopefully I won't drop the camera off of there, but that is another mount that is included with it. Also is a nice uh, little Gorilla Pod style uh, tripod here. So you can use this to attach it to lots of other different things. 
as you can see it has a little tripod mount on the bottom right there so that's kind of a nice little handy thing that they included there with there as well so if you don't if none of these other adapters will allow you to attach the camera to what you're trying to do this will probably be the universal style type of uh, mount that you'll use to like hook onto things or bars or other things like that to where you can use the camera and set it up and have it to ready to go and last but not least is the remote control. So this is a wrist remote. So if you need to, like if they have the camera strapped to your, your helmet or whatever it is, you can use the, the watch style remote, RF remote to record, pause, uh, switch to camera, camera view, still view, and on and off. I'm assuming there's a couple other things like that uh, as far as functions go to allow it to control the camera. So that's also something that I think that's newly included. This wasn't originally included with the package, but this is now inside the box. All right, so now let's take a close-up look at the camera itself. Um, very similar to other action cameras, uh, you know, GoPros and things like that. This almost looks like a GoPro session, except it's a little bit wider. The GoPro session is more of a cube, but it's not very big. It's not very heavy either, so I'm kind of surprised. They have two cameras on here, front and rear-facing cameras, and it doesn't feel much bulkier than a, than a GoPro or any of the other action cameras I've seen in the past. So overall, it feels like it's pretty well made. It has a nice durable housing right here. I, uh, I believe it is waterproof. Um, that is a nice big lens on the front and back, so I would be worried about dropping that or bumping into that or having it fall off your helmet or any whatever you have it strapped to. Make sure that you have, have, have the camera really well securely fastened to whatever it is that you have it attached to because if that gets scratched up, that's probably going to mess up some of your videos. That nice big lens right to have right there. So overall, the, the form factor is pretty small, pretty lightweight, so I'm impressed so far. If you guys have any ideas on, on type of 360 videos you want to see me test with this camera, put down in the comment section. Like I said, I'm already going to be doing the one, one for sure video with my mountain bike. I'm going to strap to the handlebars or, or maybe, maybe even my helmet if I can get it to go on top of the helmet, depending on what works the best. Test that out and get it like a 360 video for that, but if there's something else you guys want to see, or, ha or you know, have me check out with this particular camera itself to make sure it stands up to, to what you guys are expecting to come from 360 VR cameras. Put in the comment section, I'll do my best to, uh, to include that in my review. So I'm gonna test this out for a few weeks and get, uh, get really well acquainted with it. And I'll probably post a few 360 videos on my channel as well. So if you wanna check out any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I just wanna give one more quick shout out to our sponsor, Cell Cashier. You know, if you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, it's very simple, fast, and secure. You just go to their site. You get a quote, you ship your phone, and you get paid. It's that simple. So if you guys have any questions, post them down below in the comment section. I read every comment in all my videos, and I always do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my videos on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.